Today on Rad Rat Video, we're opening up this big package and we're playing a weird foreign version of Tony Hawk. Let's get started. Hey guys, welcome back to Rad Rat Video. Here on this channel, you learn something new about skateboarding three times a week, from skateboarding video games to trick histories to all kinds of skateboarding topics. Um, on Fridays, we sometimes do something a little bit different. And this time, a first for the channel is I'm going to be unboxing a package I received from a fan of the show, and we're going to be uh, playing the game that's inside. So I was contacted recently by TNT from the website tnthps.us, which is a Tony Hawk modding website. And he told me about an international version of Tony Hawk 2 that has a lot of differences from the US version. Considering Tony Hawk 2 is my favorite game of all time, I was excited to uh, accept his offer to send me some copies of it and uh, show you guys what it's all about. So before we get into that, let's go ahead and open up this package. As you can see, I've not done so yet. I'm pretty sure I know what's inside, but uh, we'll see. Okay, let's see what we got. All right, all right, this is Tony Hawk 2, the Korean edition, um, as you can see from the Korean lettering on there. Also, the other fun thing about this one is that. So that is a famous K-pop group. Uh, I can't tell you what they're called because I don't read Korean, but the interesting thing is that they are actually included in the game. So that's one of the characters right there. So now instead of just being uh, the one female character in the game that's usually there, you can play as some of these characters as well. And there's a lot of their music in the game too. So what he sent me was this copy for playing, I guess. Um, then this one, which looks like it's sealed but not shrink wrapped, and then a shrink wrapped copy. So he. He told me that these games, that you can still buy them new um, after all this time, and they cost like two bucks. So I'll try to put a link in the description if this ends up looking interesting to you. Um, it's copyright 99 and 2000, so it must have come out right around the same time as it did here. Um, and I can't wait to show you the difference. So let's, let's try to get it installed at least, and uh, let's see what it's all about. Okay, so this is the Korean version of Tony Hawk 2 which may be hard to believe considering that it's all in English, as you can see, but here you go. There are four Korean uh, characters that are from a band called Finn KL, uh, whatever that is, uh, and they're in the game. They're all dressed very similarly. You get their star signs. You get their uh, blood type, of course, very important, and uh, that's about it. So they're... Uh, they're in addition to the regular crew who are all here and uh, let's let's just show you what it's like so in addition to them being in the game you also get some of their music I'll give you a quick sample here So there, there are seven tracks, um, maybe one or two of them would actually kind of work in a Tony Hawk game to a degree, because they're kind of like hip hop type of things, kind of sound like uh, like Psy, you know? But uh, yeah, a lot of this stuff is just like slow, quiet love songs and that kind of thing. And I, it just is so weird to me that this exists as a Tony Hawk game. This is something that they had to do to make this game sellable in Korea, I guess. I mean, listen to that. Hold on. Like, do you, does that really make you want to skate? It's kind of, kind of ridiculous. So this was, what, 2000? So who was big in 2000? You had like Destiny's Child or Smash Mouth or TLC. I think uh, NSYNC was starting to come out. Could you imagine one of them having their own version of Tony Hawk? You know, like, <laughs> you get to play Justin Timberlake on a skateboard. Like, what is the point of this? It's so weird to me that this exists. 
And it apparently didn't work because uh, TNT, the guy who who sent me this game, he actually showed me the site where he bought it. And it costs like brand new in the packaging. I showed you uh, what it looks like. Uh, was like two dollars or something like that. It's crazy. So apparently they either made way too many or it just didn't sell. Uh, despite the fact that you can play as your favorite girl group. So this is really interesting. The only differences, again, are the characters and then the uh, these stickers that are all over the place. It's their band name. Very lazily just typed onto these white stickers all over the place. You see them all over that quarter pipe over there. Um, uh, so there's the, the characters, there are seven tracks, and then that's about it. Um, I'm gonna have to play the career mode through. Only played a couple levels just to unlock them so I can play it here. But uh, you can see what'll happen when I beat it. I'm not really sure yet. Oh, no. But uh, yeah, um, this game, if you really wanna try it, you could either uh, spend those $2 or you can go to one of the Tony Hawk mod sites I found where TNT actually uploaded the uh, disc image for this game. Um, so there will be that and the mod. So there, there's like a, a no disc crack you gotta install. I had some trouble. I installed the original disc because I have it. And it kept asking me to put the CD in even though it already was. It just didn't work. It's a lot easier to just use the disc image. He's got instructions and all that stuff. So uh, check that out if you really want to. One of the major problems though is that uh, this game will not accept any of the regular patches and things so like if you get Tony Hawk 2 the English version you can get like a widescreen patch and all that kind of stuff and I was experimenting with all that and if you install any of it you will lose all of the Korean exclusive stuff because it's like a new launcher for it or something like that and it just doesn't wanna you can't play as these characters so uh, that's the downside, but it is really interesting for someone who's a huge fan of the series like me to see something that is so different. So, I guess I've, I've shown you about all there is to see. Uh, what I want to do is show you the packaging real quick, and then we will jump back into career mode. So, it comes complete with some cardboard. A warranty card. I wonder where this would go if I sent it in now. Comes with the booklet, which is not in the jewel case, strangely, and the sealed jewel case. Uh, this is really cool. Um, it looks almost identical to the US version. I have the American big box version right here. Uh, without the K-pop group, uh, the screenshots are different, and there's the name of the translators on this version. But everything else is the same. So, uh, yeah, brand new, sealed, perfect condition. Uh, let's get back into the game. All right, so here we are in the bull run. I uh, burned through the game real quick to try to get to this point. Uh, I'm not sure exactly what's going to happen when I win. Uh, but we will find out together. I'm expecting a music video. I feel like that would be kind of the obvious thing. Because you have to unlock video, so... Uh, well, this is the first time I'm beating it. Maybe I'll just get the Bales video. I'm not really sure. But i am got to assume that they put something in there for huge fans of this group. Alright, let's see what happens. Alright, in competition... All right, so here it is. Check out your video and then get out and go skate. Let's find out. Uh, <laughs> okay, so I already had the Bales video. So is this the one you get when you beat it with uh, the cop, with uh, Officer Dick? No, because that was like the Neversoft team bailing stuff. What is this video? <laughs> well, that really sucks, because I thought that they would do something special. Oh, and then the game froze. Okay, so what I unlocked was a Bales video, 
uh, that was already in the game, and uh, then the game froze, which was pretty cool. So um, I guess there was just nothing for you there. Um, I don't know. I don't want to beat it with all of them. Just I don't have that kind of time. But uh, yeah, so I guess that's it for this game. Again, you can get it for free on that one mod site that I will link to. Um, and that's it. I want to thank TNT again for sending me multiple copies of this game for archive purposes and for for playing. That was really cool. Uh, you can check out that guy's site. And uh, yeah, that's it for this time. Um, this is probably not going to be a regular thing on the channel, um, but it was just kind of a cool opportunity that I had to try this out. So I hope you liked it, and stay tuned for more of what you're used to, trick histories and things like that coming up soon. Uh, thank you for watching.